after enchanting us with the literary wonders of London in her vlog series, Arpita Karwa embarked on a new chapter, a college tour across India. In each college, she shared her profound passion for literature, delving into her UGC net preparation journey and personally engaging with students. Today, we bring you a special snippet from Arpita's insightful lecture at Jain University, Bangalore. Join us as Arpita unfolds her career journey, sharing learnings that resonate beyond the pages, offering a glimpse into a world where literature meets inspiration. Get ready to dive into the essence of Arpita's wisdom, right from the heart of Jain University. Welcome to a journey of passion and knowledge. I request Dr. Surabhi Jain, Area Head of English, to welcome our guest, Ms. Arpita Kagwa. We welcome you, ma'am, and request you. you to kindly come up to address the young minds. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. It's our honor to have you here, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's begin by just giving a quick introduction of my journey. I did my be honors in literature with psychology as a subsidiary subject from IS University and uh, it was from 2013 to 16. Then I did my masters in English. I was a gold medalist in the entire state of Rajasthan and then I did clear my UGC net in 2017. So right now what I do, I have put that on the slide though firstly I'm a YouTuber. I'm an educator, online educator as well on YouTube where I put up videos related to English literature. There are certain skills that you don't do, uh, then that you don't need exactly for the job that you are aiming for. For example, if you're a software engineer, so coding is one of the hard skills that you need to know unless and until you don't know that, Soft skills is something that helps you take on that um, career ladder a bit more faster. Of attraction basically says, uh, in terms of what Shah Rukh Khan has said in Om Shanti Om, that kisi cheez ko aap pure dil se chaho, to puri kainat aapko us cheez se milane mein madad karti hai. So that is what law of attraction is basically all about. Why do you think that my career story is worth your attention? So one very important thing that I would want to draw your attention to is the concept by Steve Jobs, if you've heard, connecting the dot. Stratford University me 2005 me speech diya tha, where he said that Mary life me jo bhi kuch hua hai. When I look back, I can see that how all those things were so relevant in making me what I am today. Hum sab ki life multiple turning points um, se guzarti hai. And agar hum un har turning point ko ek life lesson ki tarhe dekhe, so then it is a huge possibility ki hum apni life ko ek bohat alag way mein dekh paayenge aur hum har ek journey se seek paayenge. Koi bhi galti aap se ho, Please never go on a guilt trip saying that kaash mein ye kar leta ya kaash mein ye kar leti. If you can just look at it, ki maine ye galti kari, let me see what lessons can I get from it. And if you just take that lesson with you and you move ahead in your life, it's going to be such a wonderful drive. So let's begin with my school life. Mere school life mein char ki events hoye. The first event was when I chose commerce with maths in my 11th grade. Two years later, I decided that I am going to shift my career and I am going to take humanities in my senior college, in my graduation. Second is I have a younger brother who is eight years younger to me. So I am like his second mother and I was always very studious. So I also studied him and while I was teaching him in my 11th and 10th, uh, 12th grade, I realized that I really enjoy teaching him. Number three, I found deep interest in English literature. So I was, when I was in 11th and 12th grade, Kapil Sibyl was the educational minister and he started something called CCE. I don't think you guys would have heard of it because Aap logo se kafi time pehle ye cheez hui hai. So CC basically said that it should not be just about the pen paper exam. It should more be about more uh, about you know activities 
and uh, assignments through which you learn. So, we have given a lot of assignments in our school. Mein. One of the assignments was to write a book on our own. Then there was another assignment where I had to act uh, Julius Caesar with a group of other students. And while I was doing all of this, I kind of realized this thing that mujhe literature ke stories bahut appeal karti hai. And finally, so I decided after teaching my brother and after going through a few English classes that I would want to pursue a career in English and teaching. A career that kinds of clubs these dual interests of mine. So, lessons kya samjhe mene, ye jo char, uh, char saal ka 9, 10th, 11th, 12th grade ka jo period tha, us mein ye teen lessons the, jo mujhe samajh mein aaye, based on the key events that we just talked about. So, the first lesson was to discover your passion and take the road less traveled. Number two, embracing change. It's never too, take, uh, never too late to take a U-turn. And then the next thing is, the breaking the stereotypes. This was one of the hardest battle I've ever lived. Moving on to the college life ka phase. So, college life ka jo phase tha, usme, the first thing that I did was that I took a training under a mentor who was a soft skill institute manager. Uh, his name is Abhinav Dhaiya and he played a pivotal role in my journey. Unhone, unse mein, wo mere college mein isi ka ek talk dene the. And I got so inspired by what he said. So, I opened soft skill institute khola and pure college time. Mein, uh, 2013 से 2016 I was doing B honors in literature and उस पूरे तीन साल में I have conducted four sessions every day from four o'clock to eight o'clock. So मेरी college life के नाम पे कुछ भी life नहीं थी. So my college years were all about very very dedicated college years. यहाँ पे मैंने एक बहुत important line लिखी which I have also highlighted, which is about that mastery requires ten thousand hours of hard work. One very important thing, please friends ko prioritize mat karna. I am telling you from my personal experience. Ye jo dost hai aapke, ye char saal baad kaha honge, you never know. Aur jo aapke satche dost hai, wo aapke sat lifelong rahenge. Agar aapne abhi unko samay nahi diya, wo chhod ke chale gaye, to wo achche dost the bhi nahi. Now, moving to the last phase, which is about my startup journey and the lessons that I've learned. So, the first key thing that I did uh, when I started my website, which was on 14th of February 2018, I was preparing for UGC net exam right before that. And I was able to find out the USP. I finally, after three years of struggling with what I want to do with my life after taking English literature, I was able to find out one thing that was missing in the market, which was not good quality teachers in the field of UGC net, especially humanities, I will say in general, but in UGC net English literature, there weren't a lot of key teachers right there helping students. And that is from where I got an idea that why not, if I'm so passionate about teaching and literature, let me open my own startup, let me start my own website. One very important lesson as an entrepreneur that I've learned, as a YouTube creator I've learned. When you put content on YouTube, I'm telling you there will always be somebody criticizing you, telling you, you did a bad job, this was not right, that was not right. This is always going to happen. There will be competitors who will be bloody jealous of you, who are going to pull you down through so many ways. And here, what you have to understand is that do you know the constructive way of handling criticism? Very quickly, four mantras for the college life. Great minds discuss ideas. I think you all know about this quote. So if you want to be in those great minds like Aristotle and uh, Shakespeare, it is very, very important that you start focusing your energy on thinking about working upon ideas and not just thinking about people and what are they doing. Another very important thing, you can only underperform or perform at the level of your belief. See, जब बारिश होती है आप बारिश में एक टब लेके खड़े हो जाओ एक बाल्टी लेके खड़े हो जाओ एक चम्मच लेके खड़े हो जाओ एक कटोरा लेके खड़े हो जाओ आप उतना ही भरोगे जितना उस व्हीकल का वो जो वेसल है उसका साइज है 
बारिश बहुत है आप चाहो तो आप एक टब लेके खड़े हो सकते हो एंड वो टब भर के पानी आप भर सकते हो आप लाइफ में चाहो तो बहुत कुछ कर सकते हो बट आप उतना ही कर पाओगे जितना आपका बिलीफ सिस्टम है एंड अदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वेन यू स्टार्ट अर्ली इन कॉलेज अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स विल हैव दिस थिंग विच इज फियर सो फियर इज नथिंग बट फॉल्स एविडेंस एक्सेप्टेड रियल कोई चीज जो है ही नहीं उसको आप रियलिटी मान के बैठे हो वो फियर है सो so फियर से अगर आपको निकलना है सो द ओनली थिंग दैट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इज दैट हम सब गलतियां करते हैं कोई भी अपने मम्मी के पेट से सब कुछ सीख के नहीं आया हम सब गलतियां करते हैं और जब हम गलती करेंगे उसी से हम सीखेंगे अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फिलोसफी विच इज यू डू नॉट गेट वॉट यू डिजायर यू गेट वॉट यू डिजर्व कीपिंग ऑल दिस इन माइंड आई थिंक दैट I should, you know, uh, end the session on the note that there are only few things that you have to keep in mind from the entire session. The first is ten thousand hours of mastery. आज से ही जितने भी महीने आपके पास है please start investing four to five hours every day to do something that not a lot of other people are doing. Develop skills which will help you outside college to get a job to build your own startup. And the very important thing that please do not get on a guilt trip if in case you are not able to reach where you want to reach. We all have a journey. वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू नॉट रीच द गोल डायरेक्टली स्ट्रेट नहीं होता है हम बहुत घूम फिर के कैसे तैसे करके हम वहाँ पहुँच ही जाते हैं जहाँ हम पहुँचना चाहते हैं वी जस्ट हैव टू कीप गोइंग कंसिस्टेंटली एंड वी हैव टू कीप फेथ इन आर सेल्स ओके सो आई होप द सेशन वॉज हेल्पफुल आई ट्राई टू लाइक टॉक अबाउट माई जर्नी एंड द लेसन दैट आई एव लर्न सो थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन